So if you would like to use the um, graph function in um, facts, in the animation view, you need to set this value here, log interval time. We'll set it to 60 minutes to log one value each hour. We'll set the simulation time for, let's say, seven days. Set it to 10 replications. And then we will start the simulation. Start without animation. Run it. Now it runs for 10 replications, as you can see. Then we will open this graph window here and you choose output. You can either choose buffers or throughput. We will begin with throughput. Here you can see the average value what has been produced each hour in average for these 10 replications. If you want to see each individual replications it's just to scroll down or select each one. So when looking here we can see that our um, around this hour here, 40 parts are produced, 42.3, here 42.1, 49.6, etc. We look at the buffer, we can see this buffer here and we look at the replication. And you can see that this buffer, it's either it's empty or it goes up to 5. So um, I think that the maximum capacity of the buffer is set to 5. Therefore, it never gets higher than 5. And um, you have the time in the x-axis and the level in the y-axis. And when looking at an average, you can see that in average it has been about one part in the buffer over time. So you can study these different outputs here. We can set it for replication 1 and we can look for different uh, buffers. For example, buffer 50 is interesting here. You can see that um, uh, the buffer level is quite high, so you have a high capacity of this buffer and it's utilized a little bit here, about up to 50 and then it gets a really high value in the buffer. This is probably because the next operation in line, operation 50, has a sequence dependent setup time and then this buffer is utilized until operation 50 can produce again then it will go down. So you can use this information in order to analyze a simulation run. You have the same behavior here in uh, 